Welcome, in today's video I want to discuss package management on Windows, a platform where beginner to advanced users were used to manually installing software for media devices like CDs and DVDs in the past, to downloading installers from various official and unofficial websites, sometimes with malware included. Nowadays things are a bit different, and package management on Windows has been a thing for years now, especially for advanced users. Package Manager is a tool that simplifies software management on your operating system. By management, we mean searching for software, installing software, removing software, and most importantly, updating software on your system and keeping it up to date easily. Package managers usually have a repository of software from which you can find the necessary piece of software you require and install it and update it in the future with a simple command line. In this video, I'll focus on two major package management solutions on Windows, Winget and Chocolaty. Winget is Microsoft's official package manager. It's included in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Some of the pros of Winget are that it's pre-installed on modern Windows systems, it's open sourced and actively developed by Microsoft. Some of the cons are that its software repository is still lacking compared to Chocolaty, which has a richer repository of packages. One difference compared to Chocolaty, which can be both a pro and a con, is that Winget focuses on traditional installers, and it does not support custom scripts and other types of packages. You can search for a package using the winget search command in your terminal and typing the package name. Alternatively, you can go to the winget.run website, which is a community developed and run website where you can find a graphical web user interface with the winget packages. To install a package, use the winget install command and the package identifier after that. You can update a package using the winget upgrade command and pass the off whack if you want to upgrade all packages at once. And finally, you can uninstall software using the winget uninstall command. Next is Chocolaty, a community-driven package manager that is older than winget. Some of the pros of Chocolaty include that it has a richer repository of packages compared to winget. Additionally, a packaging Chocolaty is more flexible. It can include scripts, Python scripts, and many other options, not just installers. Some of the cons of Chocolaty is that it's not pre-installed on Windows systems like Winget is, you have to install it separately and set it up. Additionally, some features of Chocolaty are paid. It has a pro version and a paid plan. Most of the features you need as an individual user are not gated behind a paywall though. Most of these features are, use are more useful for IT professionals that manage multiple computers for an organization. To install Chocolaty, visit the website and run the script to install it in your PowerShell. The API is very similar. To search for a package, use Choco Search and the package name. Alternatively, you can visit the Chocolaty website where you can browse all packages just like you could with Winget Run. To install a package, use Choco Install and the package identifier after that. To upgrade your system, just like in Winget, use Choco Upgrade and pass all after that to upgrade all packages at once. To uninstall a package, use Choco Uninstall and the package identifier. Let's summarize what we've seen so far and put Winget and Chocolaty head to head in a comparison. Winget is developed by Microsoft and Chocolaty is community driven and developed by Chocolaty organization. Both package managers are open source. The package count in the Winget repositories is around 5,000 at this point. Chocolaty still has around 10,000 packages and its repository is richer. Package synchronization happens automatically and is a free feature in Winget. As are all features, it's fully featured and free included in Windows. Package synchronization means that if you install a package from another source, for example, its website or using a different package manager, if you install a software anyhow on your system, Winget will detect it and it can update it later, as if you installed it with Winget previously. This, unfortunately, is a paid feature in Chocolaty and it's a very good feature to have. Some of the key strengths of Winget is that it's integrated with Windows by default, it's fully featured for free, and the package repository is already quite large and growing fast. Some of the key strengths of Chocolaty is that its package repository is still larger and very rich. It has more flexible package formats as well, which can include scripts and various other things. The key weaknesses of Winget are of course that it still has a smaller repository than Chocolaty, although it's growing. And the key weakness of Chocolaty for the individual user is that it has some paid features, like package synchronization. In conclusion, 
if you still want the richest package repository for Windows, Chocolaty is still the best choice for you. However, Winget is growing very fast. And it cannot not grow very fast, seeing as it's included in modern Windows. Additionally, it's completely free and fully featured. And the package synchronization feature is a very good thing to have. Nowadays, Winget covers all of my personal and development software needs, with the exception of only proprietary packages, which are with paid licenses and they can't be included realistically in a package manager anyways. So I would recommend Winget for most users nowadays. And the outlook for the future is that Winget will eventually overtake Chocolaty in terms of the richness of the package repository. With that, I'll wrap things up. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I release another video. Take care.